Hey, my name is Rowan Smith, and I want to welcome you to the Training for Trekking podcast. Now, this is the world's very first podcast, which is entirely dedicated to helping you train, prepare, and conquer your upcoming hike, trek, or mountain adventure. So once a week, I'm going to be giving you quality and practical information on the subjects of physical preparation for trekking, dealing with attitude, and nutrition on the trail, so you can know everything you need to be doing to have the best chance of a safe, enjoyable, and successful adventure. So now you know what you're in for, let's get into today's episode. Now today I want to talk about planning for failure. Now this particular episode is going to be really, really relevant for anyone who deals with some type of ache, pain or injury and that's been holding them back on the trail or anyone who isn't particularly in the best condition of their life. But you'd be considering stepping up into a bit more of a challenging hike which you haven't done in a while. So in this situation, you may be a little bit concerned whether your particular ache or pain is going to hold up, whether it's your knee, your foot or whatever, and whether that's going to be, you know, get through this challenging hike, or you're going to be concerned whether your fitness is actually going to get you through. So this is going to be really, really relevant for anyone in that particular situation. Now, usually when we're talking about on this podcast, when it comes to returning to hiking or building into hiking from your training, you know, I'm always recommending taking that step-by-step-by-step approach, choosing things you can accomplish, choosing things you're comfortable with, and slowly but surely building up your distance, building up your elevation, building up your attitude or whatever it may be until you're feeling confident. So you never really put yourself in a risky situation. But I'll be completely honest that, you know, one of the greatest pleasures of hiking is spontaneity. You know, being able to literally find an adventure, pack your bag, hit the trail without a moment's thought is one of my favorite things. And I know a lot of hikers do enjoy that. And every once in a while, we'll be offered one of these adventures. A friend will be going out to climb a mountain. A group will be heading off and they'll need another person in it. Or maybe we're just sick of doing the small hikes and we're like, you know what? I've got a weekend free. I want to go out and give myself a challenge. Now, in this situation, if you're being realistic, absolutely, I thoroughly encourage you to go out because adventure is what we make it. And that's what we're doing. Within our hiking, we want to be free, we want to have fun, and we go out and do what we enjoy. However, if you are dealing with some type of pain or injury, or you are very much out of condition for this particular hike, you know, it does obviously get a little bit trickier with this type of spontaneity because we don't want to run the risk of putting ourselves in a dangerous position. We don't want to run the risk of putting ourselves in the middle of nowhere where something's gone wrong, where our ankles all of a sudden get in pain, we can't go any further, or maybe we're just completely out of condition, we're stuck halfway through the trail. We don't want to be in that position. However, on the other side of things, you know, we don't want to have to limit our hiking options forever. We don't always have to want to have to shoot for adventures which are well within our means. And this obviously makes sense. So if you are looking at stepping up into a challenging hike, which you're not particularly sure if you're ready for, one thing I highly, highly, highly recommend you do is take the time before you go to write out a simple risk management plan. Now, this is a particular technique which I ask some of my clients to do when they're coming through a pain prevention journey and they come to me and they're like, yeah, Rowan, I want to go and do this trip. I'm not sure if I'm ready, but I want to do it. And I highly encourage you to do this the same if you are in a similar situation. Now, what I mean by this is before you go on this particular hike, you want to have a sit down and really think about a few bits and pieces. Number one, first and foremost, is you want to write out the conditions that have to be met for you to say, look, actually, this is too much. I'm not in a good position. I have to turn backwards. So you have to write what type of pain you need to be experiencing. What type of time cutoff you may need to have on a particular trail? What other conditions do you need to meet that will force you to turn back? And the reason why I say this and do this before you go is because when we can do it at home and we can do it in a logical manner, we can say, look, I'm going to turn back if my knee gets a 6 out of 10 in pain, or I'm going to turn back if I don't reach this particular time cutoff along the trail, or I'm going to turn back at this exit point if I'm not feeling super, super confident. And if we can do this before you go when you're logical about it, we can actually get a really, really clear idea around this. And when you do get to that point, you can very much look and refer to this logical plan and say, actually, you know what? Maybe it is time to go back. Maybe it is time to look after myself. Maybe it is time to play it safe. On the other side of things, if you try to do this on the trail and you don't have a plan in place and you're just like, look, I'll turn back if I'm not feeling great. I'll turn back if my knee's feeling uncomfortable. I'll turn back or I'll pull out if I'm, you know, if I'm not feeling particularly in good condition. 
Nine times out of 10, you're not going to do that in a logical way. Emotions are going to come into play. When we're on the trail, when we're with people, we always, always, always try to ignore things. We'll ignore the pain until it gets too worse. We'll keep on pushing through a period where, you know, we may not in a a particularly good position and we will not think about it logically and it will be very, very emotionally. And in day to day, you know, that's not a big deal. You know, if you're doing hikes, which are just a little bit of a stretch, no big deal at all. But if you're doing things that are a big stretch, that are a big challenge for you, you don't want emotions playing into this because it is not a smart idea. So I highly, highly, highly recommend if you are stepping up into a hike that is a challenge, write out this simple risk management plan before you go. Write down the conditions that have to be met for you to pull out. Write down what exit points you have available. Write down what you will do if something goes wrong. What will you do if you roll your ankle, if that's the issue? What will you do if you know your knee's getting up? What will you do if you start to get exhausted? What will you do if the weather gets on top of you or whatever it may be? And any other issue which you may be worried about or may be concerned about for this particular hike, write that down and have this action plan laid out. Planning and organizing this before you hit the trail can be so, so, so incredibly powerful. Take the emotions out of it. Do it in a logical way, and it's going to be incredibly effective. And this one simple tip is going to be so, so, so important for anyone putting themselves in this situation. Because as hikers, we want to go out. We want to challenge ourselves. We want to have fun. We want to have that adventure. But we also need to do it in a way which isn't going to put ourselves and others at undue risk. So if you think you're stepping up into a challenge, if you're not 100% sure, 100% confident about whether you're going to get through this, go through this process, write up this risk management plan, and it will serve you very, very, very well. So bit of food for thought there. If you are going through this, I highly recommend you get around it. So thank you so much for listening today, guys. I do hope you've gotten a bit of value out of this. I do hope you consider this if you are stepping into something. And I do hope it can help some people out there who may be listening. So thank you so much for listening to this episode. And we will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.